just as we were preparing for this live hit, we asked this gentleman whether perhaps he had just received the vaccination, and it turns out that he did. Mr. Kenyon is 91 years old, and I'd like you to tell us how you came to get the vaccine this morning, how it happened. I rang up uh, Guy's Hospital, which I know very well, so I've lived in London most of my grown-up life, and uh, I said, what's this thing? You're doing the vaccination. They said, yes. And then they spent various times asking me questions about this and that, not very interesting. And I said, yes, no, yes, no. And they said, we'll come at half past 12. And no, it didn't hurt at all. I didn't know the needle had gone in until it had come out. Um, it was very interesting. No, it was painless. How do you feel that you are now one of the first people in the country to have received the first dose of this vaccine? <laughs> one of the first people in the world. How do you feel about it? I don't think I feel about it at all, except that I hope I aren't not going to have the bloody bug now. <laughs> I don't intend to have it because I've got granddaughters and I want to live a long time to enjoy their lives. Have, have you been able to see them much this year, this past year? No, I'm not late, not, not hug them. Now I'm going to for Christmas. And they're going to, well, they're going to be, their parents, my daughter and son-in-law, are going to make quite sure they're able to be uh, hugged. Have, have you told them? Do, do they know? That I've, that I've been? No, I'm telling them, going home and tell them now. Nobody knows. You're the first to know. So okay. they're, they're going to get the good news that soon you will have protection from this virus? Exactly, yes. That's right. They will. Of course, I'm going to tell my family. They don't know I've been here today. I forgot to, well, I haven't got time to bring up. I understand that, that consists of daughters and, and grandchildren. So you should be coming back in 21 days' time, and according to NHS guidance, seven to ten days after that, which brings us to early January, you should have developed protection, immunity from the coronavirus. And that, sir, is when you should be able to hug your family and your... your... Absolutely. That's my intention. Yes, I don't intend to have it. Well, there's no point in dying now when I haven't lived this long, is there? I don't plan to anyway.